Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is another uh, short video in this series where I'm using R to conduct data science tasks and do data analysis. Uh, so in the previous couple of videos, I talked about how you import, you can import data or data sets, data frames that's stored in different file types such as Excel and CSV. And in the video before this, I also showed how to how you can manually create a data frame in R. Um, you probably only want to do that with small data sets. But what I'm going to do now is kind of start moving on and, and introducing some of the common uh, functions or methods or commands, I guess you might want to call them, that you can use to um, manipulate and tidy up your data um, if you've got a data frame of some sort. Okay, so I'm going to start real. I'm going to kind of start with some, a couple of basic commands in this particular video. I'm going to talk about how you can, with a data, once you have a data frame that you're using, a data set, how you can select specific rows based on some criteria, or how you can select um, specific columns. Okay, so the two commands that you use to do that in R are you can use select to select rows and filter when you just want to choose certain columns. Okay, so you might have a larger data frame, but you might just be interested in certain variables that are saved as columns, and you might want to select those out and save them as a separate object. Okay, so I'll, all I'm going to do is introduce these particular these particular functions in this video, fil uh, filter and select. Um, and then as we build up, I'll introduce some more. There's a, there are a number of others such as mutate and things like that. We'll, uh, we'll build up our knowledge of kind of what they do and how you can use them to manipulate your data frame. And then from there, we'll kind of move on and introduce the pipe operator, I think, which is um, a really useful way where you can kind of use, use kind of what's probably more intuitive uh, syntactical grammar to kind of understand what you're doing to filter data or to to manipulate a data frame okay but for this one real simple real basic we're just going to start with a couple of really common or really useful commands and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna load the tidyverse package it's already installed remember you if you, you don't have this installed you'd have to do install.packages and then and then type tidyverse in double quotes as a string uh, and run that uh, but I've already I'm, I don't need to do that I've already got it installed on this particular version of R uh, so I'm just going to run control and enter on that on line five there where it says library tidyverse and what that's going to do is load that package that's installed on uh, on uh, in R on my computer and you can see it's printed the command below and the command line on the terminal um, if we wait a few seconds what it's currently still loading it up and you should see there now it's it's kind of starting to low load up the packages that are contained within the tidyverse kind of universe so to speak that that little broader package that's an umbrella for kind of a number of different things that are good for tidying and cleaning data Okay, and you can see we so it's, you see we've got these ticks next to different packages, and then we've got some conflicts as well. I've explained in a previous video what that what that is is we've got basically some of these packages have um, have functions such as filter that are also um, so in this case it's going to be dplyr has the filter function and that's what we're going to be using in this um, and that's masking. The filter function a different function with the name filter in the stats package okay so if a uh, if we wanted to use the, the filter function from the stats package we'd have to use this particular syntax that i'm highlighting here in the command line yeah uh, but as it is we can just use filter to in the, from the dplyr package which is what we're interested in so I'm not going to import any data in this video. I'm just going to use a built-in data set, which is about diamonds. So here I've put question mark diamonds. So diamonds is a built-in data set. If you, if you use this command where you put a question mark before the name of the built-in data set, and then if I, if I run that, what it's going to do is um, it's, it's going to pro provide info. It's basically a help, a help command, essentially. It's saying give us some help tell it give us some information about the diamonds data set and if you look in the window here in the bottom right it's gone it's 
clicked over to the help tab and it's brought up this this diamonds data set which is part of the ggplot2 package and you can see there it's got a description of what the data is it's kind of the prices and various various variables recorded on about 50,000 different diamonds okay so a big data set essentially you can see there's a number of different variables price carrot cut color etc okay so we're just going to use that as an example data set let's have a look at it using the view command so we're going to use view and then we're going to put the name of the data set in parentheses after and if we run that it pops up the data set in the top left here next to our script as a separate pop-up window and you can see variable names uh, as column headers and the observations it's a really big data set i'm not going to scroll through all of it but you can see some of the interesting things which we will use to full filter here what what you can see is we have numeric variables such as price some of the measurements xyz here these are probably the different um, planes of the um, the diamond table depth clarity some sort of code color uh, cut ideal premium very good etc and carrot so a mix of numeric and string variables there okay so i'm, I'm just going to close that out and we'll go back to our script and what we're going to do first is we'll select some data uh, by rows using the filter command so what i'm going to do is i want i don't want all the data say from this data set perhaps i'm only interested in certain type of diamond and analyzing data in relation to that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the filter command and the first argument that you put into it is it's going to be the data frame to use and that's diamonds and then i've put a comma and then i've specified the variable from diamonds that i'm interested in i'm saying cut and then i'm using this double equals sign equals equals and then as a string i'm passing in the level, the category of cut that I'm interested in in this case. And I've chosen, I've just chosen quite arbitrary, I've just chosen very good. So what I want is just, I want to filter this data frame so it just shows me the rows where the cut for the diamond is very good. And I'm assigning it using the assignment operator to a new object. So I'm saving it as a separate data frame object called diamonds underscore VG for very good. So if I run that, you can see a couple of things. First, we've got in our environment up here, it's created this new data frame for us. This, in fact, it's a Tibble data frame. So diamonds underscore VG It's 12,082 observations from 10 variables. OK, so we've we've kind of filtered by rows. We've selected only certain rows that we're interested in based on some sort of category from a categorical variable. And if we look at that, we can do control enter on, on the view command. And you, what you'll see is all of the entries that is selected are very are their cut is very good, so it's ditched all the others such as ideal, premium, etc. Okay, so that was that was quite straightforward. We filtered the rows just using one variable, but we can we can also filter uh, by multiple variables. Uh, so. In this example here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select only the rows where the cut is ideal and the price is over $9,000. OK, so that's the in order for a row to be selected, it has to meet both of those criteria. OK, so ideal cut and over $9,000. So you can see here what I'm doing is I'm going to create a completely separate data frame. We're going to populate our environment with the, all these new objects. So I'm going to create a new object called diamonds3 uh, and, and that is just going to contain, we'll use the fields command on the diamonds data set, put our comma and it's just going to come out and contain uh, rows from the cut variable that are exactly equal to ideal, okay, e double equals fine, sign again and then a comma and then price is greater than 9,000. So what this is, what I'm doing here with the comma is, is I'm just listing um, the different criteria that have to be met. So the cut has to be ideal, the price has to be 9,000. I'm going to highlight both those rows there, do control enter to run it. And you can see now we've got diamonds three is the name of the data set here. There's 2,190 observations of 10 variables. Let's have a look at it in the view. Uh, 
uh, using the view command and you can see there we've uh, all the cut the cut for each is ideal and if you looked through the prices here I'm not going to scroll through them all because there's a couple of thousand the price will be nine thousand or above okay so there we go using that and that's one way to use filter by rows using multiple variables so using that what we would think of as like a logical and statement both conditions have to be true in order for a row to be selected all right we can also we can do something similar where we select rows where the cut is ideal or the price is over 10,000 say so this is just an example so rather than using an and statement uh, where both conditions have to be met we can use an or statement where the row will be selected if either of them is true so it's either ideal or it's over ten thousand dollars so what we would refer to as like an inclusive or statement okay so again we're going to use the filter command the first argument we're going to pass is the data set it's called diamonds uh we we'll put a comma and then we're specifying cut double equals ideal so i'm saying select only rows where the cut is ideal and then or note this time the or operator is this pipe character this kind of this straight kind of line okay so cut is ideal or price is greater than 10,000 so what we should see if I run this is a much bigger data frame and we have got that so diamonds for 2,500 oh no 25,000 uh, and three observations 10 variables okay so um let's have a look at let's put that in the viewer as well we use the view command on this new diamonds for object we've created here and if we run that what we should see is uh, we will we'll see ideal and other cuts um but just so long as our data is oh that doesn't seem to have worked does it oh yeah sorry it has worked uh, yeah so we've got some where the price is less than 10,000 but the criteria that's been met is ideal and I've probably got to scroll down a long way if we do if we go quite far down oh no past them so those are ideal there's got to be some that are over 10,000 as well I would have thought yeah there's going to be I can't find them anyway but uh, I'm not going to scroll through them all so yeah that did sorry I confused myself that did work so remember this was an inclusive or so the price could be less than 10,000 if the cut was ideal the cut could be different to ideal if the price was greater than 10,000 okay there will be some of those things in that data set it's a big data set 25,000 observations I don't want to scroll through all of them anyway so that's um that's just some examples there of how you can um how you can select rows using this filter function this filter command that's part of the D player uh, package which is loaded automatically when you load that tidyverse okay so that's selecting rows for a single or based on multiple variables multiple criteria we can also select data or variables by columns uh, using this this select function a different function called select okay so it's it, the syntax is very similar to what we just used for filter but this time instead of putting filter we're using the a function a command that's called select so what we're going to do here is from the overall diamonds data frame which if you recall has like 10 variables we're just going to pick uh, three variables that we're interested in okay so i'm going to I'm going to create a new object called diamonds new and that's going to I'm going to use the select function on the diamonds data set and then I'm going to just tell it to select the variables that are listed separated by commas after the data frame after that first argument so I want I'm just going to ask for cut for color and for price okay so let me run that and what we have got is this diamonds new object here 53,940 observations of three variables okay so it's selected all rows because we didn't filter on row but it's only selected the three variables we listed cut color and price which is what we wanted let's have a look at that using the view K 
commands and there you can see the um, the three a much smaller a smaller data set where we've selected specific variables so specific columns okay so um, another thing we can do there is we're selecting specific columns we can specify the ones we want just using their um, numerical location in the data set in the data frame so um, there's a, there's 10 columns and if we were only interested in the first four columns we already say we already know what the names are we could select them just by specifying the column numbers so to do that here you can see i'm using the select command from diamonds i'm selecting i'm saying select columns one through to four okay and i'm saving that as uh, an object called diamond underscore calls for columns let's run that and you can see here diamond calls is four variables it's got all observations all the rows but only four variables this time and if i do view on that what we should see is those are the first four that were on that were on the data set okay so carrot cut color and clarity okay so um we could there are ways you could you could change the order of these where we select we're specifying the columns we want but we could change the order of them and it, it will rearrange the order and present your data frame so if we wanted price first we could have put price where cut is and rearranged them and it done a similar sort of thing i'm not going to demonstrate that's quite straightforward i think and easy to understand okay so that is um another uh video where what we've done here is kind of looked at some really serious some really basic ways of um when you've got a data frame that you're working with a data set yeah, how you can select certain rows of data and how you can select certain columns using these two uh, these two functions that part of the tidyverse this is filter and for rows and select for columns okay we'll kind of introduce a few more of these a few more functions over the next few videos i hope this was useful and i will thanks for watching and listening i will speak to you again soon